uh, I can carry a large Labrador. There you go. I think probably, I mean, at a really early age, I knew that I, I loved comics. So that was probably the start of it. I loved comics and films, and so I drew from a really early age. Um, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do with it. And then in the final year of art school, uh, I entered the Macmillan Children's Book Prize. And it's an award that they run every year for an original story uh, and to be illustrated by students. And so I came up with a story and I illustrated it. And when I was doing that, I kind of realized that I knew what I was doing. This book, uh, There's a Bear in My Chair. Um, this is my latest book, it just came out really. And um, I think I, I love the simplicity of this book. Um, it's a basic one rhyme book, like a Dr. Seuss. I love getting as much emotion from a very small amount of line work from the characters as I could. So there's a real pleasure in that. And um, so I, I, I really love this one. I did a book called Medusa Jones years ago. Um, and it was about uh, the character Medusa the Gorgon when she was a little girl at school. It's the longest story that I've ever actually written um, for publication and I did the illustrations as well. And I think because it was such a long story, because, it, because I had more, more time to luxuriate in the characters, I got much more connected to those characters. And by the end of the book, Medusa was like my own daughter. You know, I felt so strongly for her. So there was something rather lovely about that. So I've got a real attachment to that book. My favorite work that I did with a filmmaker was with Laika. They asked me to do character development for a project they were doing with Henry Selick, who's the director of Nightmare Before Christmas, amongst other things, and Coraline. It was a wonderful job. It was a very, it was very frantic. Um, because you had to produce so many sketches every single day and then get approval and then change things uh, when you were dealing with somebody who was on the opposite side of the Atlantic in a different time zone. So it was quite challenging, um, but I really, really enjoyed the work and it's certainly the kind of thing that I'd like to do more work on in the future. So. Having the elephants adapted for stage is probably about it's probably about the best thing that's ever happened in my career. I got an I got an email from them saying we were just wondering if the rights to your book The Elephant were available. I remember reading it and thinking, Oh that's nice, theatre. National theatre. Who who are they again? Is that it's not the people that did War Horse, is it? Oh my god, it's the people that did War Horse and that you know, so I was at that point I was just sold and I was bouncing off of the walls for a couple of weeks. So I got to see all that coming to life in front of me. And I was just weeping like a schoolgirl when I was watching that stuff. It was just glorious. What does the future hold for us, Colin? Well, got a brand new baby boy. So that's kind of changed my life beyond all measure. I don't know, just more illustration, more writing. I'd like to write more books and um, film work as well. I like doing animation and character development. So maybe a bit more of that, that'd be great. I enjoy my job, so if I just kept on going the way that I'm going, I'd be perfectly happy. Where the hell, there might be Bigfoot out there, I don't know.